setter number 25, Mark Woodward. A coach for the FCU Milliman Baby Traveler House is Alan Albano. And now let us meet the starters for the Perpetual Junior Outsides. Point guard number 15, Renzo Zagoria. Shooting guard number 11, Kurt Velasquez. Small forward number 8, Louis Rosales. Power forward number 5, TJ Jaguar. And at center number 10, Aris Mora. And coach for the Perpetual Junior Outlands is Joe Cleopas. Our officials for this match. This is your Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational presented by Under Armour and Sports Central. This is the second game of our final four Saturday between the FU Dilliman Baby Tamaraus and the Perpetual Hub Junior Altas. My name is Diego De La Paz together with Renzo Sanlao from Courtside together with our the third member of our panel Daphne Cristobal. And starters on the floor right now for both teams. Perpetual with Sport, Renzo Zanoria, Kurt Velasquez, Aris Borja, Don Luis Rosales, and TJ Tabuan. While the FU Diliman Baby Tamaros have Liam Salangsang, Jeremy Godoy, Mark Burgos, Wilhelm Cabonillas, and Dam De Guzman as their starters. Our referees for the ball game, crew chief, international referee Harry Santos, and umpires Herbert Santos and Carlos Sebastian, and Don Luis Rosales with a three-point bucket to start the scoring here. And uh, Renzo, let's uh, take a look at the road that both teams took going here into the final four round. Itong uh, perpetual help uh, defeating itong uh, San Pedro Red Cubs 80-78 to while F.U. Diliman defeated UST 70-64. Right, the perpetual help Junior Altas, they got a 17-point performance from Jan Roluna uh -huh. when LeBron James died course with the 14 points and six rebounds yes. to be able to power their way just two points ahead of San Beda oh. during the quarters while uh, you know, FU baby Tamaraus naman 70 to 64 victory like you said over UST it was a team wide effort mm -hmm. 10 points from Sal Salangsang 10 from Cabonillas oh. and 11 from Pascual yes so very balanced scoring for their squad yeah Miko Pascual was named best player of the ball game in that uh, last outing and once again, win or go home time for all of these teams. And what a play there for Mark Borgos getting the steal and the, off a steal by Jeremy Godoy. And it's a 3-2 to two start. The Altas up by one. Here comes Velasquez. Shot clock down to seven. The up and under move here. And the fadeaway jumper, no good. And yan yung ma-attacking ang F.E. Diliman. Liam Salangsang! Bing! Bang! Boom! And Salangsang wearing that jersey number 7. I am not used to that. He is playing a little bit like Terrence Romeo now. Yes, definitely look Romeo-esque with that triple from the left wing. Oh, Cabonillas. Salangsang. Now back to Cabonillas. 15 on the shot clock for F.E. Diliman. Dam de Guzman got his pocket picked by Kurt Velasquez and now Velasquez running the break and nice find to TJ Tabuan. Yes, unselfish play from Velasquez there. Created a good look for a better look. Oh. Jeremy Godoy. The dump off pass there. Tried to go. Dunke, I believe that was uh, Mark Burgos. Perangalam missing that. And Godoy lost that real estate's a sideline while trying to steal that basketball away from Perpetual. Just like that, we are down to the 7.34 mark of the first period. And now let's go to our courtside reporter, Daphne Cristobal, with a report on the Perpetual Help Junior Altas. Daphne? Possible jam-packed situation for the Perpetual Junior Altas tomorrow with a possible of three to four games needed to play on a Sunday. But Bravo. this is also a guaranteed quality matches for head coach Geoff Leopas, who shared with me that these past few days have been very difficult for him and the coaching staff dahil nga mga binagyo sila. But no excuses as always, tuloy mga ensayo at ang mga laro nila. Heading on to this match, Coach Geoff emphasizes na dapat mas doblehan lang nila ang kanilang hard work even though that they just recently got a gold medal match with other tournaments. That's all for now. Hopefully this team will get a back-to-back -back na daw na gold pa 
para sa Team Perpetual. Balik sa inyo. Alright, thank you very much, uh, Daphne Cristobal, with that report on the Perpetual Hub Junior Altas and Don Louis Rosales short on that three-point attempt. And yun nga, very hard situation for a lot of our student athletes, especially in the current ng uh, tropical storm that uh, wiped out uh, some certain areas of the metro. Yes, but of course, basketball never stops, and these players can just at least take solace in the fact na kaya pa rin nila magdalo sa mga tournaments tulad nito. Oh. Caponilias kicks it out to the corner. Liam Salangsang. And that one off target. And the long rebound by Dam De Guzman. De Guzman kicks it out to Caponilias who launches a three. And that one. Uno, dos, tres. And swishes in. Eight to five. FEU Dileman up top against perpetual help and getting the lead for the first time in this game. And umuulan na kaagad ng tres dito. First four minutes pa lang, three threes already. Stop and pop, no good. Para doon kay Kurt Velasquez. Part of the Gilas Pilipinas uh, youth team pool. 12 on the shot clock. Burgos, they go to the corner. Long two by Godoy and that one short. And the board secured there by Addis Borja. Borja, the top of the key, gives it up to Kurt Velasquez. Lost his footing, pero nga na traveling violation. And looks like uh, that was a bad break for uh, Kurt Velasquez, lo losing his uh, footing. Yes, very stylish slide, no? Oh. Kung may style points, nakascore siya. <laughs> but here in the basketball court, no turnover ang bigay ng referee. No, man. Siyempre. Right now, the words of uh, Coach Alan Albano. You know, they're, they have a uh, tough task at hand, especially against this uh, very balanced uh, perpetual health team. And Wilhelm Cabonillas nearly making that shot on the second try. Still no good. On the third try, though, a hoop, a harm, and the three-point play the hard way for Jeremy Godoy. I see Kalyangan got called for his first personal foul and fresh off the bench. And Jeremy Godoy a chance to make a three-point play opportunity. And Godoy makes it. A lot of fresh faces entering for both squads here. It's been a bit of a sloppy start to this ball game. Already, five turnovers each oh. in the opening five minutes of this game. 11 to 5, FEU Dileman on top. Tabuan, up and under move. And that one off target. And LeBron James dive already in the ball game. Para dito sa perpetual help. One of the key players para dito kay Coach Jock Cleopas. And you don't want to get this game out of hand early. We saw earlier in the ball game, the, the game previous to this one, Mapua uh -huh. went up by 17. And kahit yes. na nakahabol yung San Sebastian, the lead maybe proved too much. They ran out of gas. You don't uh -huh. want the same thing to happen if you're perpetual. Kalyangan, drive, floater, no good. And the rebound by F.E.U. Dileman. Salangsang. Caponilias. Shot knocked down to 13. The handoff here to Liam Salangsang. Salangsang, the drive. The kick out pass. Shot knocked down to 2. Caponilias, the runner. And that one off target. And Icy Kalyangan forward to Jim Corpus for that layup. Parang naging lastic man ito si Jim Corpus for that layup. Yes, and credit there, the 24 seconds of great defense from Perpetual. Oh, and what a block there by LeBron James Diop. And now Don Louis Rosales, the secondary boom to the layup. And look oh. at that. Kalyangan with the steal and Don Louis Rosales for the tie. 11 all. And the Altas just using their defense. Turning that into a big weapon here. Caponilias, oh. the hang time move, but could not get that shot against Lebron Diep. Corpus gives it up. And the drive here by Don Louis Rosales, no good. And Jericho Cristino with a turnaround shot and in. And that's just one minute, an 8-0 spurt 
para sa Perpetua. We were just talking about them not letting this game get away. Now they're in the lead. Salangsang kicks it to the corner. Lefty three. And that one short. And the rebound here by Perpetua. Cristino. Now they go to Kalyangan. Lebron Diep. Oh, and what a reverse layup against Mark Burgos. And just like that, Perpetua earlier down by about five points and now in the lead at four points, 15 to 11, and Liam oh. Salangsang! Oh, it's a goal tending on LeBron James Diet, but nevertheless, impressive. Oh my goodness, what a start to this game on both ends of the floor. And not sure if it was noticed, but I believe that pass from Kalangan to LeBron James Diet, I think that went in between the legs of a defender. Oh, wow. Now Kalyangan. They go to Jim Corpus. Shot clock down to 14, and they try to go for an eye in the sky with Daep. Cristina with that nifty pass to a cutting Daep. Siguro mong si Lebron James mismo yun, na dunk niya yun. <laughs> But if they, they needed to time that perfectly, or get the angle there perfectly for that alley oop sana, just a little wayward. If there's one thing about uh, Perpetual that uh, FEU Dilliman has to be worried about, it's, a, it's those eye in the sky plays. Because they know how to time those perfectly, but not in that last possession. Jim Corpus got called for that, for that foul and Perpet will help just with their second team foul. An interesting decision no, by coach Alan Albano, letting his team play on, playing through that adversity oh. instead of calling a timeout. Oh, and Josef Renieses slithering through for that layup. Corpus recovers that loose ball, but a foul given up by Cyrus Hemau. That's a foul on number 20, Cyrus Hemau. That's his first first 2.09 remaining here in the first quarter, and we are tied at 15. It's like all of our games here in the Curry 12 Invitational has been close. So all of the games, no exceptions. Yeah, even if earlier we saw a 17-point advantage, probably the biggest lead in any of the games so far. And even though that game resulted in a, the largest deficit, the uh, lar largest winning margin of all the games, it still went into overtime. Yeah, yeah. Wait, more like a largest uh, deficit during a game by any team. Yeah. Yes, but also largest winning deficit. All right. 14 to shoot. 14 on the shot clock and we are still tied at 15 all. Perpetual help trying to solve this puzzle. JD Pagolayan steps into a three and that one getting the hoop, the harm, the four point play opportunity for Pagolayan. But an unsportsmanlike foul called by umpire Herbert Santos. And that was a. So Tash Meyerhofer there with a poor close out. So Pagolayan makes that bonus free throw and it will be an extra possession right, so for Perpetual. Massive swing there because first of all you get the four points, you mm -hmm. still keep possession, oh, potentially a seven point, six or seven point possession if they score. Yeah. Down to the last two minutes of the first quarter. They go to Icy Kalyangan. Kalyangan stops, pops, but does not drop. And the rebound secured by FEU Dileman. Josef Renieses kicks it out to the corner. Tashmeyer Hofer lets it fly, but short. And the rebound secured by Kalyangan. Kalyangan to LeBron James Diep. And that was just one, one leap for him and straight to the cup. And it's a 21-15 lead for perpetual help. And we'll be back after this timeout.
This your Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational Final Four presented by Under Armour and Sports Central. And Perpetual Health suddenly on a run on a great tear here. 21 15 lead with a minute and 22 remaining here in quarter number one. And it's really been a run spurred by their bench. They're, they have a huge advantage from bench points 14 to 2. So that really made the difference here. Applying some press as well. Tashmeyer Hoffer lost the handle on that leather, but first a foul against. And let's see what is on. It's on Jerry. On JD Pagulayan. Tashmeyer Hopper, by the way, the son of a former De La Salle Green Archers great Rico Meyer Hopper. 15 on the shot clock for, for uh, FEU Diliman. Josef Renieses. Spin move. Can't get past the long arms of Jericho Cristino. And a foul against FEU Diliman. With a foul on number 15, Nico Pasquale, that's his first personal foul. 14 foul for FEU. A minute remaining here in quarter number one. Kalyangan. Now they go to Cristino. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Cristino gives it to JD Pagolayan. Corpus gives it to Kalyangan. Right corner three, no good. And the rebound by Dam de Guzman. Yeah, that was great ball movement. They got a good look. They just couldn't knock the shot down. But that was the right play. Swing it to the corner. 14 now the shot clock for FEU Diliman. They go to Dam de Guzman. The handoff to Tashmeyer Hoffer. Missing that jumper. 16 seconds remaining sa ating first quarter play. Now Pagulayan to Daep. 10 seconds remaining, Satin game clock and Perpetual leading 21 to 15. And the three ball connects for Jim Corpus. And that will end the first quarter of play. Perpetual help making that run to take this lead 24 to 15 against FU Diliman. And we'll be back after this break. This is the Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational presented by Under Armour and Sports Central. And Mapua Red Robins are waiting on the winner of this matchup between Perpetual Help and FU. And so far, the Junior Altas looking good. 24 to 15 lead after the first 10 minutes of play. My name is Diego de Paz, together with Renzo Salo and the third member of our panel, Daphne Cristobal. Yes, as you mentioned, Perpetual shot 50% from that in that first quarter hard to be down when you're shooting that hot and if they ended that five the last five minutes of the quarter on a 19 to 4 run wow. to take a nine point lead here after trailing and that is one huge way for you to get back into the game and not only that take control and right now this uh, perpetual help team showing us a little bit of a uh, championship poise in them and Liam Salangsang missing that jumper in the ensuing possession fresh 14 on the shot clock for the baby Tamaraus Salangsang gets away from Renzo Zanoria but that reverse layup iron deficient and here comes Jan Roluna on the run but what a block a chase down block by Dam de Guzman 
Godoy. Double team. Kicks it out. Damn De Guzman. Drives closer. De Guzman gets blocked by LeBron James type. And FEU Dileman. They were definitely bothered in that ensuing play after that block by LeBron Dyep. And it's a block party here at Gainville. Oh. oh yeah. Everyone's invited. <laughs> yeah, come on, come all, and welcome to this block party inside Gameville Ballpark. Renzo Zanoria. Velasquez. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Velasquez. They go to Jan Roluna. Lefty three is off to the left. And on that Baldoria rebounding play, there's a foul against FEU Diliman. Pushing foul on number 15, Nico Pascual. Nico Pascual. Call for a second One personal foul. That's the first action for Roluna. Again, he led his team in scoring with 17 points. Wow. And right now, still scoreless. But you know what? What's dangerous about perpetual help is that let's say one player is one of the leading scorers of, of the team. All of a sudden, another player can step right up. Just like that uh, LeBron James dive three-point shot that j did just fall through. And dive, diving for that loose ball but could not get to that leather. Salang Sang. Oh, he gets fouled before uh, releasing that pass. Oh, a foul against FEU Diliman. Or should we say it was out of bounds off of uh, Salang Sang who stepped at the sideline. Yes, parang lahat nagtitiptoe dun sa sideline. A great defensive job there. But speaking of great defense... Oh, both teams really diving for those loose balls. My goodness, what, what basketball we are watching here. And again, this is, this is a premier basketball at its finest. And before we continue, 14 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, we got 14 seconds on the shot clock. And a sideline inbound here for Wilhelm Cabonilias. FU Dileman down 24 to 15. Jeremy Godoy, layup, no good. And here comes perpetual help on the run. LeBron James dive, puts up the shot in heavy duress. My oh my, what a play for the Junior Altas. Here comes Salang Sang, puts up the shot, but first a foul. And we got a whistle on the floor against uh, Rian Baldoria. But before we continue with the action, let's go to our courtside reporter, uh, Daphne Cristobal, with this report on FEU Dileman. Daphne? Ramos does not only initiate the offense, but is also the smart plug para dito sa baby Tamaraos. Before the start of the second quarter, he went vocal encouraging his team, kunin natin to. Meanwhile, for head coach Alan Albano, FEU needs to start doing the right things for them to be able to match or even go beyond how the junior had started the first 10 minutes of this game. How do you think will they perform here? Jago and Renzo. Alright, thank you very much, uh, Daphne Cristobal. And uh, yeah, Liam Salangsang has been... A, an instant bucket getter para dito sa FU Diliman Baby Tamaraos in the first quarter. Uh, five points already to start this uh, game. And now here comes Jan Roluna. Spin move. Nearly took his defender to the cleaners and a rebound there by Dembalaya Sene. Yeah, it looked good but definitely a very tough shot to make. Now Salangsang driving. Oh, and that inside hand layup does not fall through, but he will take two from the 4.5 meter line. Yeah, just needed a little bit more force there. Could have rolled that layup in, but unfortunately for him, would not fall. Though he will go to the line for two free throws. Salang Sang with five to lead his team. He's the only one with more than three points right now para sa FU Baby Tams. Misses on that first free throw. Oh, so three minutes gone by sa ating uh, second quarter of play and F.E.U. Diliman still down by 11 points. And right now they need to get a little more, you know, reps and stop yung uh, 
runs ng uh, perpetual help, especially that the junior altas are controlling the tempo of this game. Yes, uh, not FEU probably not getting as much ball movement as they would like. They only have four assists here. Mm -hmm. We're already midway through the second quarter. That's definitely not a good sign. They don't have any player with more than one assist. Oh. Baldoria defended by Sene. Shot clock down to 12. Borja to Zanoria. Zanoria gets a step. The spin move. The floater. That one off the back of the rim. And that shot there by Jan Roluna. A little too strong and went over the top. Six and a half remaining sa ating second quarter. Nico, uh, that was uh, Ramieses who was uh, totally bothered by the defense of Velasquez and Baldoria at the backcourt. So it's out of bounds off of uh, Wilhelm Cabonillas. And it will be perpetual health possession. And right now, F.E.U. Dileman in a world of trouble. And that was great pressure applied in the backcourt. They, they were trying to avoid an eight-second violation. Mm -hmm. Yun nga lang, the pass went, went wayward, hit out, went out of bounds. Oh, wow. That was intense action between uh, Cabonillas and uh, Jan Roluna. And a foul called against Cabonillas right in front of us, clear as day. And not only that, it was right in front of our uh, commissioner, si Commissioner Tonichi Pujante. 10-point lead here for the Junior Altas against the Baby Tamaros of FEU. Battle of Las Piñas versus Dileman. Aris Borja steps into a three, no good. And Kurt Velasquez taps it out of bounds. Very tough defense there, presented by Josef Renieses. Six eleven remaining. Burgos forward pass to Godoy. Shot clock down to fourteen. Right now, Fu Dileman a little stagnant on their offense. Uh, Renzo. Yes, it's really not swinging the way it should be, and again results in a turnover. Not what you want to see for Coach Alan Albano. Oh, Jan Roluna with that fast break layup. And a timeout called by Coach Alan Albano, the veteran tactician, wants to talk things over with the FEU Dilliman Baby Tamaraus. inside the Gameville Ballpark in Mandaluyong City as we bring you the second Final Four matchup here in the Cur Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational presented by Under Armour and Sports Central and Renzo, as in this afternoon, the way that I saw that the players unbox their, their Under Armour sneakers, man, the joy on their faces. Yes, I was, was going to say. Yeah, I was... Uh, I was a little uh, jealous, you know, as they say. Under armor, back in the man. Yeah, smiles are plenty. <laughs> yes. Baka we can get some smiles on our faces as, as well. As well, yes, that's right. Kalyangan overcooks that pass intended for Roluna. And that's not the way that uh, Perpetual Help usually uh, runs their offense. Right, but right now, their offense still humming better than FEU's because so far, the Baby Tams have shot just 25% from the field. Oh, wow. Really struggling to set up in the half court. Oh, Wilhelm Cabonillas sneaks in that layup and 
Looks like proved you wrong, partner. Yes, maybe that could get them going. <laughs> 15 on the shot clock. Kurt Velasquez. Borja. 8 on the shot clock. Kalyangan. They give it to Aris Borja. Top of the key. 3! Oh. Bang! Bang! Boom! And just like that, perpetual help extending their lead 31 to 18. But on the ensuing play, Kurt Velasquez a little too aggressive on Josef Ranieses. And uh, umpire Herbert Santos, you know, uh, tried to give a little leeway, but better, uh, too much contact. Yes, and uh, that was the fourth team foul. So the rest of the way, half of the quarter to go, penalty situation. So the baby Tams need to take advantage of that. Early on in the shot clock, para dito sa FU Diliman. Cabonillas against Roluna. Oh. oh, and a steal there by Jan Roluna. Looking back on his defender and scoring. Yes, may look back pa talaga oh. from Roluna. That's yes. been the story of the game actually, Jago, because Perpetual has 18 fast break points. That's wow. more than half of their scoring total. A lot of these turnovers that binibigay ng FEU live ball turnovers. So basically, the Junior Altas team in this ball game to the FEU Diliman Baby Tamaraos is Eat My Dust. Right. And Dam De Guzman wow. uses the glass. The back is open late on a Saturday. And the thing is, they, they're also doing it even off misses. Hindi lang sa turnovers. Pinapush talaga nila. Like, here, quick attack. Oh, wow. And that was off a made basket. And Rian Baldoria getting the hoop, the harm, the three point play the hard way. And Miko Pascual whistled for his third personal foul. So the leading uh, three point shooter for FU Dileman got called for that foul. And you, and could you could just tell here that Perpetual is really more deliberate, more de deliberate, more decisive yes. in the way that they're attacking on offense. Oh yeah. And they're going hard to the rim. They have more than double the points in the paint ng FEU. So yes. it's really a one-sided affair right now. And Baldoria missing that bonus free throw, pero nga lang uh, natawagan siya ng free throw violation. Right. You know, a little too early in uh, exiting that foul line. After, even before releasing hit the basketball, actually before the the basketball hit the rim. Right. Ranieses, Cabonillas, defended there by Corpus. Shot knocked down to ten. Salangsang trying to find an opening. Salangsang kicks it out. Oh, and a steal here by Kurt Velasquez. Velasquez against two yellow shirts and scores. It's like we're rewinding the tape every time because we've yeah. seen a bunch of those exact same plays. And yet another turnover forced here by Perpetual. Their defense has just been smothering. Yeah. Liam Salansang uh, committed a dribbling violation on that last play. Three minutes and 14 remaining before we hit the halftime break. Kalyangan inbounds to Baldoria. The handoff there to Corpus. Back to Kalyangan. Kalyangan finds that opening. That easy seam to that lefty layup. And coming tatlo dito sa courtside. Napapa practice na ng ami layup. Oh, and ng lefty layup oh, specifically. Oh. Hirap yan. Yeah, so lalo na ang ating, uh, ang ating point bell. Na si Daphne Cristobal. Fun times here inside the Gameville Ballpark covering the Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational. I mean, hindi lang kami nagtatrabaho lang, pero at the same time, we're having fun. Yes, yeah, siyempre. There, are, there aren't many ways better to spend your weekend than watching some basketball. Especially some of the, the brightest young talent here yes. in Manila. And at the foul line, Liam Salangsang taking two. Salangsang, of course, the son of former uh, pro journeyman na si Alan Salangsang who also played across Southeast Asia. And of course, a uh, quick shout out to uh, Alan Salangsang for giving me one of my starts in the broadcasting uh, industry uh, covering the games uh, in, in this league. So full circle talaga, no, Jago? Oh. <laughs> 
Corpo steps into a three, and that one back rims. And a long rebound by Miko Pasqual. If you're FEU, you, you need you cannot take erases entire lead in the rest of the half. Oh. But you have to chop into it. Maybe get it down to 12, 10, something yes. more manageable at halftime. And a three ball there by Aris Pola. Bang, bang, boom. And now it's a 20 point advantage, 42 22, and Salang Sang overcooks that floater. Yeah, and that won't help FEU's chances. Nine on the shot clock for the baby Tamaraus. Pascual to Dam de Guzman. Ooh. And a, a tap away there. Oh, and a bad spill on that play. Yes. Okay, Velasquez. That's going to result in free throws, but. You can't be mad about the defensive effort there. Oh. They almost got the steal. Yes. Almost picked it off for another fast break layup, but you know results in a turn in, in free throws here. Yeah, and uh, it was Kurt Velasquez who was called for that foul, and he will take a seat on the bench, replaced by uh, Don Luis Rosales. But it's just clear that Perpetual has all of the energy, the enthusiasm right now. Effie, you can't even get their free throws right here. They need a jolt in the worst way. Oh, yes. 2.02 remaining, and Cyrus Hemao short on that first free throw and misses the second free throw, and Miko Pascual could not get a handle on that leather. Eleven on the shot clock for FEU Deleman. Check that. That was uh, Mark Burgos, rather. It will stay with F.U. Dilleman after a player from Perpet will help tap the ball out of bounds. Burgos the, off that inbound, pero nakuha ng foul contra dito kay Jim Corpus. Jim Corpus, that's his third personal foul. And Mark Burgos, Mark, two shots. Mark Burgos will take two from the line. Yeah, need these free throws here. Every point counts at this point. Oh, still can't get it to fall. Yeah, I think that's been the story of the game for F.U. Dileman. Not, not being able to capitalize on these uh, free throws. So you got another man down. That's Miko Pascual. And let's see who that foul is on. This time it's T.J. Tabuan. So penalty situation for perpetual help yes, for quite a while now. F.U. missed its last four Pascual, Let's see if Pascual could uh, break, break this uh, ice for F.U. Deleman oh. and it continues. I think we should stop, uh, at this point, we should stop talking about the free throw figures. Right. Let's see what will happen to F.U. Deleman. I think that didn't work. I, the reverse uh, jinx yeah, the reverse does not work. Jinx. <laughs> but they still got the offensive rebound yet again. But nothing is falling here at all for FDU. Salansang takes in the defense of Aris Borja. Shot clock down to one. Salansang short and a long rebound by Aris Borja. And now Perpetual on the run. Don Luis Rosales slipping. Kalyangan gives it to the corner. Corpus. Bang! Bang! Boom! My oh my! Oh, it's a long, it's a three-point shot for Corpus. 45-22. The hand time move and the kick out to Kalyangan, but Kalyangan was not ready for that pass yes, from Jim Corpus. It's a turnover there for, for, for Perpetual, but you can see that the ball is really zipping yes. around when it's the black shirts with possession. Right. As compared to FEU, it's a little bit of ISO ball. The last shot there earlier by, I believe that was Salang Sang, was just an ISO three. Yes, yes. Not that kind of offense you need, especially when you're down 23. You can't take this all away with just one possession, one shot. And again, if you're good to look at the FEU Dilliman here, most of their uh, players are stagnant, not really moving without the ball. As we see Salang Sang missing that floater, and Burgos can't make that uh, second chance opportunity drop. At this point, those were two good looks for FEU, just couldn't get it to fall. Oh. Corpus, corner three, wala. And the rebound by Jeremy Godoy. 
Ooh, and he got some spills on the floor here. And that's uh, Jim Corpus giving up that foul on Jeremy Godoy. And more free throws coming for FPU. After six straight misses at the line foul. again. Oh, wow. Corpus now with his fourth personal foul. So Jeremy Godoy will take two from the line. It looks like Corpus is going to take a seat. Yeah, he will he'll be replaced by uh, J.D. Pagolayan shortly. But FU Dileman can't make their free throws. I have a feeling next practice, napakaraming free throws titirayan ng team nila. Yeah, definitely. I've seen that personally. I remembered uh, covering this game between uh, Adamson and UP Dileman. And Adamson Miko shot free throws Pasqua! after the game. And Miko Pasqual scoring underneath the basket. But this one, so far a blowout in favor of perpetual help. 17 times remaining and Corpus gets fouled. Despite, you know, Corpus having four personal foul fouls. Number seven, Liam Salangsang, that's his first personal foul. Liam Salangsang called for his first personal foul. Surprisingly, these are just the second, third and fourth free throws for Perpetual. They've really done their damage in transition in the fast break without needing to draw them fouls. They, they have 18 fast break points, so they've really just been pushing the pace, getting easy looks. Mm -hmm. Corpus will be subbed out if he makes this, but doesn't. But first, a free throw violation on Corpus. So JD Pagulayan take, taking the place of uh, Corpus on the lineup. 16.8 remaining. Shot clock is off for FU Diliman. Hemao. Godoy. 10 seconds remaining. Godoy to drop off pass. No good. Fires a baby Tamaraus. Four seconds left. And Pagulayan still has a lot of time. Rosales. Catch and shoot. No good. And iron deficient. And we end the first half of play with Perpetual Help leading FEU Dileman 46 to 24, and we'll be back with second half of play.
We're at the halftime break of our Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational Final Four match between Perpetual Help and FU Diliman. The Junior Altas leading the FU Diliman Baby Tamaraos 46 to 24. And before we continue with our broadcast, let's go to the third member of our panel, Daphne Cristobal, with this courtside report. Daphne? It will be a back to zero mentality for the Junior Altas. We do know that they've been dominating itong larong ito. Pero paalala nga ni Coach Joff na dapat pag enter nitong final 20 minutes of the game, there's no room for complacency but rather more offensive points para sa kanilang kopanan. He do know na doon kukumpara ng what happened during the first game. Nagmamadali yung mga players. This time, gusto niya na ipipressure itong baby Tams on to their limits para sila ang mag-adjust here in the second half. That's all for now. Back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, uh, Daphne Cristobal, with that uh, courtside report on the Perpetual Help Junior Altas. And we're about to start the third quarter of play shortly. Once again, my name is Iago de Paz, together with Renzo Sanlao from courtside here at Gainville Ballpark. And Renzo, itong uh, Perpetual Help, uh, with every run uh, ginagawa na FE did it, man. Uh, they, they quickly snuff it. I mean, parang, let's say, uh, parang two baskets and then all of a sudden, Perpetual Help will just go off and running. Right, and Perpetual, right now, their performance, it's pretty much flawless because it's not just one or two things they're doing well. Medyo clean sweep sila in, when you check the stat sheet on every category from shooting 48% to 28 the only thing, uh, bench points 31 to 4, advantage, fast break points 18 to 5, turnovers then plus 7 mm -hmm. in terms of how many turnovers forced. So, Perpetual really doing everything. Well deserved 22 point advantage right now. Pero nga, that's strangely out rebounding at no, no, no. Right. FEU has been out rebounding itong uh, Perpetual Health 28 to 20. Yes. That's, the, that's probably yes, the, the only, only department uh, that uh, FEU Deleman had uh, right. As you saw that baseline jumper from Jan Roluna. And the, a lot of those rebounds are for FEU were offensive, getting their own misses. So not necessarily the most Burgos. telling stat there. Mark Burgos, close range shot is good para sa FEU Diliman. 48-26. Perpetual help still in the lead. And another one and done possession para sa Junior Altas. And if you're FEU, you just have to think there's so much time left in this game, but that's not going to help with a live ball turnover once again. Raluna leads to that layup by Renzo Zanoria on the other end. One of the big problems of FEU Yen during the first half, 16 turnovers. Leading to a lot of transition opportunities for the Perpetua. And just like that, a 24-point advantage for the Perpetual Help. And this, this tournament has been very close for all the teams involved so far. But this one, legitimately, probably the, the only blowout we have so far. Yes, last game, we saw a 17-point advantage for Mapua erased by San Sebastian. But right now, it's an even bigger advantage with even less time on the clock when it's happening. Mm -hmm. So, But still... A lot can happen here. It's far from over for FEU. Yeah, but then again, if you're facing a great system team like a Perpetual Hub and the disciplined approach of Coach Job Cleopas, it is hard to stop a team like Perpetual Help. Yes, and like we, we mentioned with the halftime analysis, there's not really one thing that FEU needs to pinpoint here. Everything is running well for, 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 for Perpetual. J.D. Pagulayan misses that three-point attempt, but that reverse no, layup by it. LeBron James Diop came after the shot clock buzzer sounded. <laughs> 50 to 26 is our count. Both teams stuck at this uh, point for about a minute now. Meyerhofer gives it up to Godoy. Shot clock down to 12. Burgos. Godoy, the drive to the basket, no good. And Godoy steals it away from LeBron James Daep. But an offensive foul on Jeremy Godoy. Trying to uh, evade it on defense in LeBron James Daep. And that just, that's just been the way it's gone for FU thus far. Naka steal na nga sa backcourt. Easy opportunity sana. Still results in a turnover. Seven and a half remaining here in period number three. Salangsang. Heavy defense on Renzo Zanoria. Shot clock down to 14 for Perpetual. Daep. 
Facing the defense of Burgos. Diop rises up for that Let jumper. And what can this kid not do? LeBron James Diop showing us he could slash to the basket, he could rise for those jumpers, and he could defend well. And Perpetual hasn't even needed to go to him that much in this ballgame. That was just his fifth shot. He's 4 of 5 from the field. Wow. If they needed him, he could probably be taking more. Fresh 14 on the shot clock. Cristina, the turnaround, no good. And Jan Roluna snatches it from the sky and scores. And Coach Alan Albano definitely not happy with the way his players are performing. 6.40 remaining here in the third quarter. Perpetual up 54-26. This is the Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational Final Four presented by Under Armour and Sports Central. And Renzo, if we are going to make a word, word cloud to associate uh, words with uh, the Perpetual Help Junior Altus performance, we could put in there relentless, tactical, and uh, fiery. Yes, a, a lot of words. Maybe even perfection. Because oh. that's what they're showing here right now. Corner three on the way, in and out for J.D. Pagulayan, but Jan Roluna gets the board. Fresh 14 on their shot clock. Cristina misses the floater. And even better to see is it's been a full team effort. You know, 12 different players have scored in this ballgame for Perpetua. They don't even have a single man in double figures yet. Zanoria pitches it forward to Roluna, but he lost real estate at the baseline. Rare turnover para sa Perpetua help. You know, parang sinabi ni Daphne sa halftime report niya na start from zero mentality and it feels like they're going with that right now. It's a, perpetual, they're playing as if it's a, it's a tie game, it's a close game right now. But it's like they're the ones who are down. Mm -hmm. Yun nga, that's, the, that's the way Coach Job Cleopas has been uh, pushing his players to the limit every time that they get on the floor and that's one thing that's impressive about their uh, brain trust especially to see Gerald D Dizon a former uh, perpetual help Alta in his own right and perpetual help forces an empty possession para sa FEU Diliman and LeBron James Daeb Uno Dos Tres and the thing about Daeb it's really uh, it's as if he really lets the game come to him. He doesn't force anything. That was very much in the flow of the offense. Got a good look, uncontested, took the three. He's 5 of 6 from the field right now. The first man in double figures. Long three, no good for Miko Pascual. Zanoria nearly lost the possession there, but it will stay with perpetual help. Icy Kalyangan replaces uh, John Roluna. And also taking a seat will be Renzo Zanoria, replaced by Don Luis Rosales. Baseline inbound here for Kalyangan. And Kalyangan nearly throws the ball away. Shot clock at 14. Daep. Rosales gets the screen from Daep. Daep for three. And that one. That is so smooth. It feels like a Dirk Nowitzki three point shot. Oh, and right away from the other end, contested that shot. Very much like Wemby. No? Yes. Taking these threes na nobody else can contest and still can go up running the other way. And JD Pagolayan on the fast break. Two more fast break points for the Junior Altas. And Tashmeyer Hoffer. <laughs> oh. oh, well, <laughs> what can we say about LeBron Diop? Just bothering those shots. Yeah, Meyerhofer, no small player. Oh. But he made them 
It looked, it looked small. He looked yeah. small in front of Diet. And another three pointer for Perpetua, just pouring it on here. And FEU Dileman oh, down to their last timeout after this one. And uh, Coach Alan Urbano burning two timeouts here in quarter number three. And we'll be right back after this break. This is the Under Armour Curry 12 invita Invitational presented by Under Armour and Sports Central. And this one turning into a blowout. Actually, it's been quite a while since uh, we saw FEU Dileman in the driver's seat. And this one, a, my, if my math is correct, a 39-point advantage for Perpetual Health. Yes, I think, I think your math is right. And I think FU wishes your math was wrong <laughs> because 39 is just pretty much an insurmountable lead here, barring a Stephen Curry like barrage of three pointers para sa FU. And we have a foul on the floor against Perpetual Help. It's on Don Luis Rosales. Backing foul on number 88, Luis Rosales. Three and a half remaining foul. here in the third quarter of action. And so, you so can quick. see that Perpetual really, they're still playing full throttle on the like press peninsula. Unrelenting yeah. right here. Corner three, a miss there para kay Jeremy Godoy and the rebound by Icy Kalyangan. Kalyangan pitches it forward to Baldoria, pero nga lang, overcooks that pass. Substitution for Perpetual Junior Altas. So let's take a look quickly at, uh, again, for those who just uh, tuned in now, Mapua. Already with the first ticket into the finals, defeating uh, San Sebastian in overtime, 84 to 76. Hans and Hans Castellano scoring underneath the basket for FEU Dileman. So it's Mapua awaiting on the wings against the winner of this match between Perpetual and FEU Dileman. So far, Perpetual looking good. Rosales with that wild shot off target. And could this be the start uh, of an FU Diliman run and Cabonillas missing that layup? Ranieses, 12 on the shot clock. Ranieses finds an opening. Could not light up the scoreboard. Long rebound by Cabonillas. Back to Ranieses. Ranieses the runner and knocks that one down. FEU finally getting some consecutive buckets to fall, but Perpetual still not giving an inch on defense, not making it any easier. 65-30, 35-point advantage for Perpetual, but a foul down low. As we are approaching the final two minutes and 15 of quarter number three. Third on the junior outside, 17 on the shot clock. Shot clock down to 17 for FEU Dileman. Ranieses tried to give it up there to Cabonillas. Uh, Castillejos rather, and Cabonillas recovers that Castillejos miss, but he gets fouled. Yes, uh, some momentum para sa FU, but with around 12 minutes remaining, it's pretty tough. Especially because they're more than doubled up right now. They need to score more than their, their total over the first three quarters. Cabonillas hitting the first. 65-31. It's like more than half of this, the points scored by Perpetual Help is a, is a total Two of FEU. Diap. Kalyangan. Goes to Rian Baldoria, shot clock down to 10. Kalyangan back to Baldoria, top of the key three. 
No good. And the rebound by Cyrus Himao. Minute and a half remaining before we go to the fourth quarter. And we have a blocking foul against Perpetual Help. That's on... Uh, Let's see that who that is on. I believe that's on Jan Luna. And I believe that's also the fifth team foul on mm. Perpetual, so free throws coming for FEU. They're on a 6-0 run right now, mm. potentially an 8-0 run if they, they score these two. So the foul was on uh, Don Luis Rosales, and it will be two from the line for Josef Renieses. Sixty-five, thirty-two is our count. So right now, I think uh, we're seeing a bit of uh, the look of exhaustion in the faces of the FEU Diliman Baby Tamaraus. And if that's uh, one trademark of a Joff Cleopas uh, coach team, is that they're always conditioned for running. If you see players on a Joff Cleopas team uh, starting to pant and they're starting to uh, lose breath. It means there's something wrong with their uh, core training, which is uh, conditioning. But no signs of that so far here. Even with um, a healthy lead, all out pa rin to mga players ni Coach Joff. I see Kalyangan, backward violation, slipped on, that, uh, on the hardwood here at the Gameville ballpark. And we are down to the last minute and 20 of the third quarter. Front court inbound for FEU Dileman with 14, 14 on their shot clock. Cabonillas receives the inbound. Josef Renieses. Well defended here by Kurt Velasquez. A kick out to Hemao. Hemao with that lefty layup. 65-34. And that's the kind of offense FEU's been missing. Hard drive and kick uh -huh. leads to an opportunity for one of their players to attack the basket un unaffected by any interior defenders. Oh, it's an offensive foul offensive against Aris Borja. Number 10, Aris Borja. That's his first personal foul. 50 seconds remaining here in period number three. Medyo na pa ako na sa 65 yung perpetual. They, they've been there since the 406 mark of the third. Three yeah, minutes. That, yeah, that's been a long time for the Junior Altas. But right now, no signs of uh, worry here for the coaching staff of the Junior Altas. Eight on the shot clock. Ranieses overcooks that layup. And Aris Borja with the board. And throws it away to Josef Ranieses. Yes, dangerous scenes there. Yeah. A dive to the legs. Good thing nobody got injured. Yeah. And free throws coming for FEU. That's his second. That's the second foul on Aris Borja. At the line for FEU. And what is impressive here about uh, Perpetual Help, as we mentioned earlier, uh, the Junior Alta is not going exclusively or strongly to LeBron James' diet. You've got uh, Aris Borja showing, uh, showing he's uh, got the metal and he's got the skills that uh, earned him the starting five nod for coach Job Cleopas. At the same time, it's been a balanced scoring affair here. You know, not one, uh, not, not a singular focal point for the Junior Altas. And a lot of credit due for to Icy Kalyangan. He only has four points, but he does have nine assists and five rebounds. But they won steal then. Wow. So he's really been the 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 engine of his team right now distributing that basketball all throughout the game and here he is with the basketball Kalyangan facing the defense of Ranieses hands it off to Rosales two second differential between game and shot clock Baldoria to Borja top of the key three short oh and we've got a body on the floor and let's see with this on Possibly on Cabonillas. All right, so stand corrected. That's uh, Josef Ranieses. It's 5.8 seconds remaining on the game clock, as well as the possession here for Perpetual. Kalyangan gives it up to Aris Borja, missing that jumper. One second left. 
half-court shot off the window, but no good for Josef Renyeses. And that ends three quarters of play. A 30-point advantage for Perpetual Help against FEU Dileman. And we'll be back with fourth quarter of play between FEU and Perpetual Help here in the Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational. your Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational presented by Under Armour and Sports Central. They're starting with the final 10 minutes of play between Perpetual Help and FEU Dileman. The Junior Altas up 30 points, 65-35. And a miss there by Miko Pascual to start the quarter. Raluna, Kalyangan, now to Baldoria. 15 seconds on the shot clock and we have a foul away from the play. And it's against Perpetual Help. Yeah, imagine it's a stagnate now. Oh, half court oh, offense and Perpetual. They've been scoreless for the past five minutes here. Stuck at 65. But of course, huge lead right now. But if you're coach Geoff Leopas, you still want to see your team running your sets. Oh, yeah. Able to execute here, regardless of the score. 14 on the shot clock. A drive by Caponilias. Oh, I could not find the bottom of the cup. And the rebound there by Renzo Zanoria. Valuna to Kalyangan. Now Baldoria, they dump it down low. And the up and under move for Cristino merited an offensive foul, unfortunately. Yeah, tough call because he oh, got enough space for himself to get a clean look at the basket. But as the referee, he took an arm to create yeah. that space. But that was an impressive move earlier by Jericho Cristino. Unfortunately, some unnecessary contact on that last play. Minute gone by, and neither team on the scoreboard. Salangsang. Well defended there by Kurt Velasquez. Shot clock down to seven. The drive by Godoy. Lost the handle, and here comes Jan Roluna. Roluna against Cabonillas tried to dump it off, but recovered by Jericho Cristino. 14 on the shot clock, Barça Altas. Cristino launches a three. Bang! Bang! Boom! Just like that, it's a 33-point game. And that's the tenth assist now for Icy Kalyangan. Oh. Near turnover there for FU Dileman. Cabonilla skies high. And gets a foul from Icy Kalyangan. Long foul on number seven, Icy Kalyangan. That's his second. Second personal foul on Kalyangan. And it will be two free throws for Wilhelm Cabonillas. Hans Castellero, Sinus Genau. Josef Reineses. Three man substitution here for FU Dileman. Hans Castellejos. And Mark Burgos. Cyrus Hemao. Together with Josef Renyeses entering the ball game for the baby Tamaraus. First free throw falls through for Cabonillas. Cabonillas and Salangsang, the only two players with more than five points 
here para sa FU Baby Tams. Both of them with eight right now. Cabonillas makes it nine. But still, nobody in double figures mm. here for FU. Oh, Jan Roluna leaks out for the score and great vision there by Perpetual Help to pitch the ball forward. 70 to 37 and this one, a one-sided affair through most of this match. Another forward pitch to Raluna. Nice find to Kurt Velasquez. Easy pickings for Perpetual Health. And Perpetual starting to get going once again. Stuck at 65, seven straight points coming for the Junior Altas. Kurt Velasquez called for his fourth personal foul. Seven and a half remaining here in the fourth quarter. 72-37. Inside Hadley up no good for Josef Ranieses. Another pitch forward to Baldoria. This time, great ball movement for Perpetual. JD Pagolayan with that hang time move and a trip to the foul line after that miss. Hacking foul on number five, Wilhelm Camonilias. That's his second one on the baby time rounds. Two shots, G. Pagolayan. Renzo, you know what? Uh, this, this game really showed us the full arsenal of uh, perpetual help. You know, without them going exclusively to any of their uh, to their key players. Uh, in general, that's yeah. uh, that's one thing that's impressive about the system by Coach uh, Job Cleopas. They're showing us this full team concept on display. Yes, like like we said earlier, twelve different players have scored here. It's really been a whole team-wide effort, and you can see that the players have responded to the system. The Coach Job Cleopas, they're all buying in, and oh. this is the result when that happens. And not only that, they're still unrelenting at this point. Right. Pagolayan well defend, def well uh, a good de uh, defensive stand on Ranieses, but better offense from the FEU Dilleman point guard. Pagolayan, they go to Cristino, for Luna, shot clock down to seven, three ball by Pagolayan, and that one buried. And right now, Perpetual just putting on. A show on both ends of the floor, but Ranieses showing us that uh, he's exploiting the holes in Perpetual's defense. Yeah, Ren Ren Ranieses has been aggressive all throughout, even with this huge deficit. He still kept that pedal to the metal. Three ball launch by Roluna, short, and Cabonillas secures the rebound. Cabonillas tried to go forward to Godoy, bothered there by Pagolayan, but Jeremy Godoy recovers. Under six minutes remaining here in the final period. Pagolayan. Baldoria. The handoff there, but first a foul against FEU Diliman. And that's on Wilhelm Cabonillas. Wilhelm Cabonillas. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul for FEU substitutions. Hans Castellanos will take a seat. Team Corpus for John Molina. Corpus re-enters the ball game for Corp. Oh, a double foul. And uh, it's time to get physical here, here in the fourth quarter. And looks like LeBron James Diop still going to enter this ball game. So Coach Cleofa still running with his yeah, normal rotation foul. regardless yes. of the score here. That's his fourth personal foul. And number 20, Jericho Cristino, that's his second personal foul. So Jericho Cristino will take a seat on the bench and LeBron James Diop still taking uh, some minutes. Oh, I see Kalyaman! Oh, without a street ball move. And caught the FEU Dilleman defense sleepwalking. With the score this lopsided, oh. With the score, this no. slop side, I was gonna say <laughs> that this is the time to try those those moves. Ni yung coach mo, and if it works out, it becomes a highlight. And yes, definitely a highlight. And I think we've seen it all, including a wedgie there on that last play for Fu Diliman. 
Kalyangan against Ranieses. Shot clock down to 15, but a turnover. Ranieses, straight line to the basket, no go. And LeBron James Diep bothering that shot. Baldoria gives it to the corner. Jim Corpus, short. Oh, and we have a foul. And it's on Brian Baldoria. Brian Baldoria penalty. Four That's a fourth personal foul on Baldoria. So it's both Baldoria and Jim Corpus in foul trouble with four fouls each. And I see Cal uh, that's a J John, that's a TJ Tabuan, rather, that will enter this, re enter this ballgame. Replacing Jericho Cristino. A lot of trips to the line for Cabonillas. These are free throws five and six for him. Mm -hmm. Pretty, kind of struggling from the field. He's only two of ten. But he does have five of his points from the line. Ten points in total. Mm -hmm. 78, 44 is our count. A lopsided affair in favor of Perpetual Health. Corpus, 10 on the shot clock. Tabuan, thought about the three, drove closer. Oh, wild shot off the window. 80 to 44 is our count. 36 point advantage for Perpetual Help and a foul given up by TJ Tabuan. I can foul on number five, TJ Tabuan. That's his second personal foul. Two free throws for Cyrus. Free throw line has really been one of the only areas that FEU is outperformed Perpetual, at least in terms of getting there. Mm -hmm. These are free throws 24 and 25. Perpetual, six pa lang ang kanilang free throws. Mm -hmm. Kaso nga lang, 43% lang from the free throw line itong FEU. Yeah, that is definitely not a good shoot shooting clip by any, in any, at any level actually. Yes, especially when you have that many attempts. A lot of wasted opportunities. Yeah. But definitely it was a clinic a master class for perpetual help throughout this game and a turnover by the junior altas and godoy tried to slip it through to salang sang but the ball ricocheted out of bounds and it will go to the junior altas four minutes and ten remaining here in the fourth and final period and San Sebastian most likely will face F.U. Dileman with this uh, impending victory by the Perpetual Help Junior Altas, which will secure their place in the finals. And J.D. Pagolayan with that three-point basket, basket and leading into that timeout by Coach Alan Albano of F.U. Dileman will be back for the final 353 of the ballgame. Your Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational presented by Under Armour and Sports Central. And FU Dileman with a bad possession coming off their final timeout of the game. 
And now Perpetual Health. They give it to Corpus. JD Pagulayan lets it fly but rattles out. Yeah, surprised that miss there. Pagul Pagulayan's been hot from mm -hmm. feet. Cyrus Hamao. Cabonillas defended here by TJ Tabuan. Shot clock down to nine. Nico Pascual, the bounce pass, the give and go to Wilhelm Cabonillas, but no good. And Mark Burgos gets fouled on his way up. Yeah, the only thing working out again for FU getting to the free throw line. But everything else just not going down for FU, just 27% from the field. One of the big bigger stories here. FEU's been outscored from the three-point line, 12 threes to two. Mm. So that's a plus 30 yeah. advantage para sa perpetual. Almost the entire deficit here, all from that three-point difference. Mm -hmm. One out of two from the foul line for Mark Burgos. Hemao, drive to the basket. Lefty layup, no good. And Hemao gets his own miss. The kick out pass, Godoy for three. And that one rattles in for Jeremy Godoy. And that one at least makes this a more respectable scoreline for FEU Dileman. Yes, just their third three. Three of 20 right now for 15%. Nine on the shot clock. The wow. shot up by TJ Tabuan. And that one a ridiculous shot. Yes, that kind of game. Jim Corpus gets the steal, the buck, the floater no good, but the rebound there by Godoy pitches it forward to Wilhelm Cabonillas. Cabonillas missing that shot, and two opportunities off target for ah, F.U. Dileman and Jim Corpus scoring on the other end. LeBron James Dyep getting that uh, assist, and we are down to the midnight hours of this game. A minute and 56 remaining here in the fourth and final quarter, 87 to 49, the largest margin of victory here in this Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational. Yes, by a lot. Yes. The, the biggest prior to this was just last game, a game that went into overtime, an eight point win for Mapua. Uh -huh. And right now it's trending way, way more than that. One second on the shot clock and Salang Sang at the shot clock buzzer, but our referees wave it off. It's a shot clock violation against FEU Diliman. Impending victory here for Perpetual Help with a minute and 32 remaining in the fourth quarter. For Perpetual Help, looks like our best player of the game, LeBron James Daep, 14 points. Six rebounds together with two block shots. Of course, LeBron Diep, the son of a former San Sebastian stag in Romel Daep, also Al part of the coaching staff of the Perpetual Help Junior Altas. LeBron. Move over, Bronny James. <laughs> Hans Candido making a rare appearance for the Junior Altas. TJ Tabuan gets fouled there by, by well, Imam Ngane Sene. So Daep most likely the player of the game here. Still Eddie a lot of credit due to Icy Kalyangan with his 6 points and, and 10 four. assists. Uh -huh. Really great performance there. But grabe talaga yung, yung spreading of the wealth ng Perpetual. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 players with at least 5 points. Yeah. So everyone contributing. 5 on the shot clock. Jim Corpus the jumper. No. And it will go the way of uh, F.E.U. Diliman. Fifty-five point one seconds remaining, and it's all over. But the shouting here for in this uh, final four matchup, 
And looking ahead to the finals matchup, it's gonna be very interesting to see this absolutely dominant perpetual squad taking on Sean Salvador and the Mapua side. Yes. No? That is going to be a very fun matchup between the Mapua Red Robins and the Perpetual Help Junior Altas. So it is a clash of styles there. Yes. So it's the tactical, the the full team concept on display here for Perpetual Help, while for the Mapua Red Robins, also uh, also technically a team concept, but uh, they're hit badly with the absences of the likes of uh, Noah Banal. Razel Del Pozo and Froy Andreas, not to mention, of course, Dwayne Miranda still yeah. at the sick bay for Mapua. The one, one thing is that makes that matchup the perfect matchup for this tournament is both teams are prolific from downtown. Yes. Both of them scored double figures from three in their semifinals matchups. So fitting that in the Korean Invitational, two really powerhouse teams from downtown are matching up. Mm -hmm. And a traveling Bravo. violation against uh, perpetual help so yeah let's take a look the once again uh, lebron james lab 14.6 rebounds and one assist together with two blocks marvelous performance for the young big man six foot seven tall and he's really barely been on the ball here yes to do it he didn't need a lot of touches he just needed seven shot attempts Clearly, still a lot, a lot left in the tank here for Perpetual, and they still already pulled off that victory. Our final score, 87 to 51. Perpetual help sets that date with the Mapua Red Robins here in the final of your Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational, defeating the FU Diliman Baby Tamaraus. Once again, your final score, 87 51, and LeBron James Dapp is our best player of the game. He will be interviewed shortly by. Our courtside reporter, da Daphne Cristobal. A very impressive win for the Perpetual Help Junior Altas. And they will set up that, that uh, matchup against the Mapua Red Robins. That will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. But again, we will have a, a consolation game between the FU Diliman Baby Tamaraus against the San Sebastian Golden Staglets at 1 p.m. Uh, we will have our interview with them shortly, but uh, once again, an impressive performance for the Perpetual Help Junior Autos withstanding FU Diliman in that. Uh, Amazing, amazing performance this uh, late this afternoon. And once again, a quick recap of uh, the result earlier, by the way. So the Mapua Red Robins winning in overtime against San Sebastian, 84 to 76. And we will have our interview shortly with LeBron James Lab. Now, let's go to our courtside reporter, Daphne Cristobal, with our interview. With LeBron James Diap, our best player of the game. Daphne? LeBron James Diap, our player of the game. Congratulations to you at siyempre sa Team Perpetual. LeBron, first half pa lang, grabe na yung dominance sa pinakita ng inyong kuponan. Kanina mo ibibigay yung credit with how your team nagbigay agad or nagset agad ng standard. Uh, ibibigay ko ang credit ay para sa aming lahat dito sa team namin dahil sa teammates ko at sa staff dahil kami yung nagtatrabaho nito at kami po yung nag... Yun nga. Binibigyan namin yung best namin sa ensayo araw-araw. James, bukas, alam naman natin, possible as per Coach Joff na 3 to 4 games ang inyong lalaroin. What's something na pwede namin i-expect para sa inyo going up against the Mapua University? Oh, ang expect lang nila ay papakita ulit namin yung best namin at i-give namin yung 100% namin. Kasi una-una, binibigyan namin yung best namin sa training, then sa laro, doon na lang namin nilalabas yung mga nabubuong work namin sa training. Kumbaga, nagpipay off na lang lahat ng effort ninyo. Meron ka bang gustong pasalamatan or batiin? Invite mo na rin yung ating mga fans sa ating championship tomorrow. Uh, uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa kay unang-una kay Papagad. Uh, salamat sa kanya at binigyan na kami ng lakas upang manalo ngayon. At nagpapasalamat ako sa mga teammates ko, sa coaches, dahil sila yung, ano, ang tawag dito, sila yung una, sila yung sumusuporta sa akin at sila yung sumusuporta sa amin isa't isa. Uh, 
Nagpapasalamat ako sa pamilya ko diyan at sa mga sumusuporta. Sa kay lola ko diyan. Ingat kay lola dahil may bagyo pa naman at kay Bea at ingat ka diyan Bea. And bukas si mga fans uh, manood kayo sa finals. Uh, bibigay namin yung best namin. Congratulations once again. That's LeBron James Dive, our player of the game. And tomorrow, subaybayan din po natin mapuwa. Red Robins will go up against Perpetual Junior Alta. Sending it back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Daphne Cristobal, with that uh, interview with LeBron James Dive, our best player of the game for the Perpetual Help Junior Altas. Once again, at 1 p.m. tomorrow, it will be the San Sebastian Golden Staglets taking on the FEU Diliman Baby Tamaraus in the third place game, while it will be the Mapua Red Robins taking on the Perpetual Help Junior Altas for the championship here in the Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational. On behalf of the hardworking people behind the scenes, of course, ang ating courtside reporter na si Daphne Cristobal, and of course, my partner Renzo Salao. My name is Diego de la Paz. Signing off for now. This is the Under Armour Curry 12 Invitational Final Four.